When Ethan Couch was captured on the streets of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, with dark hair and a dark goatee, Texas authorities say the 18 year old had the look of someone on the run trying to change his appearance. Earlier this month, the teen was seen with blonde hair in a video that appeared to show him at a party with alcohol, a violation of his probation. Authorities say Ethan and his mother, Tanya Couch, had what was essentially a going away party the night before, driving from Fort Worth to the Mexican resort town on the Pacific Ocean. A Mexican immigration official says the pair crossed into Mexico through Tijuana. Sheriff D. Anderson says Tanya Couch will be charged with hindering the apprehension of a fugitive and faces up to 10 years in prison. Her entire focus has been on making sure he didn't see any justice done, making sure he was not accountable. So for her to assist him, I felt like was just a natural next occurrence. I'm not surprised that she helped him. Not surprising to those who have seen the Couch family up close since the teen was only sentenced to probation for a drunk driving crash that killed four people in 2013. His attorneys argued he suffered from affluenza, saying he lived a privileged and wealthy lifestyle where there were no consequences for bad behavior. The victim's families filed civil lawsuits against the Couch family. ABC News obtained these deposition tapes from that case. In those Ethan tapes, Couch Ethan Couch openly talked about his drug use. Taking Valium, Hydrocodone, Marijuana, Cocaine, Xanax, uh, Vivans. I think I tried Ecstasy once. And his mother talked about how she let her son drive illegally. You understood if he was, at any time he was under 16, he was never to be driving by himself. Yes. Nevertheless, you allowed that behavior to happen, correct? Yes. When's the last time you recall disciplining Ethan for anything? I don't remember. Mexican officials say Ethan Couch and his mother are being voluntarily deported back to the United States, but it's not clear when they will arrive back in Texas. Prosecutors are fighting to get Couch's case moved out of the juvenile system and into adult courts. For now, prosecutors say Couch isn't likely to face significant jail time for violating the terms of his probation. If he stays in the juvenile court, the maximum sentence he could receive is incarceration in a juvenile facility until he turns 19, which is April the 11th of 2016. That is not enough. And Aaron, just to be clear, Ethan Couch technically has not committed any new crimes. It's simply a violation of his probation. Now, his mother, Tanya Couch, as we mentioned, faces that felony charge of uh, getting in the way of apprehending a fugitive, and she faces up to 10 years in prison.